Welcome back to Perfect Shine of Jacks. I'm Russ, your host, and today this one's out th uh, for all you professional detailers out there and other detailers that are polishing cars and uh, are looking for the very best and least expensive way to quickly clean your polishing pads. And today I'm going to cover that real quick. It's a product that you may already have and you're using it for something else. I have found a use for Superior Products Dark Fury. Uh, used to be called Rage. I, I found so many uses for this. It's really my go-to in a lot of scenarios. And I want to bring in and show you uh, the pads that I've got, just how bad they are, because some of these pads uh, were used the other day to polish aluminum with. And so I'm going to bring you in here and show you what we've got. As you can see here, this pad was used to polish aluminum. So we've got all that black rouge on there. Same with this pad, very dirty. Same here, you polish an aluminum with it. And most of the time you'd probably think that these are just ready to be thrown away. Here's another one I was polishing aluminum with. I had a uh, 38 foot horse trailer that I was doing. And I use a lot of different things to polish aluminum depending on how bad it is. This, using these uh, in this particular case, was just worked out better and easier for me. Same with this pad here. You can see just how bad it is. Now I've got a couple other pads that I was just using regular polish with. Um, this particular pad, I was using a one-step polish and sealant. And so whenever you've got a pad that has been caked up with the, the one-steps that have a wax or a sealant in them, these can be a little more difficult to get totally clean again. So I've got a few of them here. I'm using Superior Products Dark Fury. Very popular, been out for quite a while. And I've got it mixed up in a bottle here at five to one, which is the ratio that I use for really just about everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around, spray down all the pads. Do a light scrub and a rinse. I'm gonna spray all these down and then come right back. All right, so I sprayed the Dark Fury on. It's been on about three minutes since I've sprayed everything down. And you can see it just eating up all of that rouge from the aluminum on these pads without even, I haven't even touched it yet. Just, just sprayed it on there, giving it a minute to work. Now I'm gonna do just a little bit of light agitation and then we'll rinse okay, them. Okay, so I'm gonna agitate them a little bit. As you can see, the Rage is already having an effect on it. And I'm just gonna spread that rage around just a little bit in here. Same with this one, just, just a little bit, kick it around. This is really heavy. A little bit here. You can see it all coming off on my brush. Like I said, most people would probably just throw these away, but I have found that really this rage will take them and make them about 99%. So. I'll probably end up spraying this outer edge on here again because this is caked on there really heavy. All right, now this one just had uh, regular polish on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
do a quick little scrubbing. You can use your pad washer on this as well. I just know that this is gonna create quite a mess. So, and again, you can use your pad washer on this. We'll do the same thing. I'm just making a mess today. So you can see here, came right out, no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and spray these down one more time around the edges with this. Let's see. Takes a minute, pad washer definitely will work as well. You already see a huge difference in this. The rouge was really caked on in here, so that takes a little bit of scrubbing to get all the rouge from the aluminum off of these because it does, as you can tell earlier, it takes on there really heavy. All right, I'm gonna grab the rotary and spin these out and we'll bring you right back. All right, not bad at all. I will take that. All right, this one's still got a little bit of caking on there. We'll see if we can take that off in the pad washer. Okay. Not bad, I've got a little caking, I could hit that again. Okay, came out pretty nice. I'm gonna be back polishing aluminum with these again tomorrow. So they don't necessarily have to be perfect, perfect. If they did, I would treat them again, probably let them sit for a few minutes and, and go at it again. Pretty dramatic difference. Uh, this one could definitely be used on paint again without a problem. All right, so I hope you got something out of this. Grab my camera here. Hope you got something out of this. Hope it'll help you. The uh, Dark Fury, absolutely awesome for cleaning a lot of things, especially when it comes to the pads. A lot better. 
with, uh, and really this is very inexpensive to use. Works absolutely phenomenal. If you got some value out of this video, please hit the like and subscribe button, helps me out. And I uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot for watching.